To start up your RSH SIP blowers to perform routine maintenance, make sure to follow these important steps before beginning your service. Begin with the cold checkout procedures. Start with a visual inspection of the blowers to identify any damages that may have occurred during their handling and installation. Check for any obstructions outside and inside the boiler. Confirm installation of the rear hangers, wall sleeve, and wall box. Monitor the lubrication levels. Next, check any adjustments to packing if needed. Inspect poppet valve linkage settings. Then, examine your blower's elevation alignment with the boiler expansion distance calculated into setting. The poppet end of the soot blower must be raised one inch for every 10 feet of travel above level when the boiler is at full load. Next, look at the electrical, power, and control. Jog the blower locally to verify the correct rotation of the motor. Short stroke the blower to verify the correct limit switch function. Run blower full travel locally to verify proper operation. Then, run blower full travel remotely to verify proper operation. While testing full level travel, check the motor ramps to ensure they are not high. Set your indexing while testing at full travel. And finally, inspect the seal air connections if they are supplied. After your cold checkout, it's time to move to the hot checkout. Before beginning, confirm all steps listed on the cold checkout. Install the gauge set on poppet valve. Next, short stroke the blower to confirm the limit switch function. Once confirmed, run your blower full travel. Adjust the blowing pressure while the soot blower is running. Watch our video on setting poppet valve pressure for further instruction on this. Confirm the proper indexing while the blower runs. The lance tube should rotate about 45 degrees with no forward motion. Then, check that the motor ramp has all three legs. Actual settings vary depending on the motor design. After completing the startup checklist, verify by name, signature, and date on the provided documentation that all steps were checked, followed, and cleared before maintenance began.